Hi, hello. Hello again. Again. <laughs> I'm Megumi. And I'm Harna. What did you study when you were in Canada? Just oh. English or was it like a subject to take no, a major? No, only English oh, because it was okay. for... Um, was it like an ESL thing? Yeah, like kind of. Well, I was in TOEFL class. In oh, first. me too. I was. Yeah. yeah, I did TOEFL too. But I, I found that was so hard for uh -huh, me. Totally. Like I, I've never studied TOEFL, mm -hmm. so it was super hard. Yeah. For me. So I just quit the class. Uh huh. Like. <laughs> just, <okay. laughs> could you like raise your hand in the middle of the class and be like, oh. Yeah, yeah, I have an yeah. opinion about that. Oh, you could. Yeah, I could. Damn, be. girl. <laughs> I couldn't do that, you see. Because, like, I don't know, I was just so used to the whole Japanese environment of mm. sitting to mm, the lectures yeah. and just listening to the professor, you know, not sleeping and <laughs> just actually listening to the professor. Mm. But to actually participate in the class and raising my hand was a struggle. Pros of mm. living abroad. Drinking. <laughs> I'm not an alcoholic. I love going out. It was really fun. And the cafes were awesome. Because Seattle, I was in Seattle, mm -hmm. America. The coffee is, you know, mm -hmm. Starbucks yeah. was from Seattle. Tolly's was from Seattle. Mm -hmm. Oh god, their coffee is amazing. <laughs> but yeah, that's my pros. What's your pros? What was the good thing of living abroad? Well... Mm. Because it was Toronto, like oh, I studied, yeah, okay. yeah. I was born there, and mm -hmm. I was just you know study at the same place. Yeah. So like I kind of miss everything there. Oh, okay. I love the food. I love the oh. you know temperatures. Okay. Or like like uh -huh. I love everything. Oh really? There. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Wait, what's Canadian like signature food? What do you eat there? Protein. Proteins. <laughs> oh, oh, and protein wow. and maple syrup. All oh, day. maple syrup like, all day, every day. But I was grown up in a Ukrainian family, so oh, like I don't really know about Canadian food. Oh, and stuff. okay. Cons. What was like the negative part of it? Um. Hmm. It's hard to find one because I, I love so much oh, there. Oh, that's nice. That's good. But like every year I went to the school, like mm -hmm. I was saying, this year was, you know, it was the best summer ever. Oh, that's cool. Like every that's nice. year. That's good. That's <laughs> like nice. Because I met so many new people and mm -hmm. made so many friends from all over the world. Yeah, that's cool. So fun. That's fun. Cons, I would say... Um, People really just mind their own business in the States because and in Japan, as opposed to Japan, it's a very, you know, we respect the harmony of the group yeah. and stuff and we do a lot of group work. So I felt definitely alone a lot of time. I was like mm -hmm. a little, you know, I definitely got independent. Either way, there are both negative and positive parts of it to study living abroad. But I personally think it's definitely worth it. I loved it. Yeah. And also like meeting so many people from oh, other countries, yes. they gonna definitely change your life. So, so remember to like and and <laughs> subscribe. Yes. Bye. Bye.